Goes. So glad you could join us again for more of our Peru adventure. Today one of the things we will be looking at is getting along with others, cooperating together. Anyway, now let's get on with it. Hola Shane! Hola, what's that mean? Hola in Spanish means hello. Oh well hello! So let's practice it. Hola Shane! Hola Pedro! How you been going with your numbers? Um, oh no! Um, How about we practice it together? Yeah, I think so. All right, I'll say it and you repeat after me. Okay. Uno, Uno. dos, dos, tres, tres, cuatro, cuatro, cinco. Oh, cinco! Now I'll say it in English. Okay. You say it in Spanish. One, Uno, two, dos, three, tres. Four, cuatro, five, cinco. Excellent, Shane. Woohoo! Well done. How about I teach you something else? Okay. When you introduce yourself, you say this: "Mi nombre es." Oh, mi nombre es. That's right. But you put your name at the end of it, oh. so you say it like this. Okay. Mi nombre es Pedro. Mi nombre es Pedro. No, no, no. I'm Pedro. You're Shane. Oh, let's yes. try it again. Mi nombre es Pedro. Mi nombre es Shane. Yes, Shane. Well done. So you say, hola, mi nombre es Pedro. Hola, mi nombre es Shane. That's it, Shane. You're doing really well. Hey, how about we practice our numbers from six through to ten? Ah, oh, we haven't learned them. They're a little bit harder. So uh, I'll, I'll teach you how to say them. Six is seis. Seis. Seven is siete. Siete. We'll try that again. Seven is siete. Siete. Eight is ocho. Ocho. Nine is nueve. Nueve. And ten is diez. Diez. That's right. Do you reckon I can say it in English and you can say them in Spanish? I will have a go. Six. Seis. Seven. Siete. Eight. Ocho. Nine. Nueve. And ten. Yes. Awesome, Shane. Woohoo! You're killing it. One. Uno. Two. Dos. Three. Tres. Four. Cuatro. Five. Cinco. Six. Seis. Seven. Siete. Eight. Ocho. Nine. Nueve. Ten. Yes. Well done, Shane. Woo! You're doing amazing. All right, Shane, I want to show you another word. Okay. And this word is really important. Mm. It's how we say thanks. Okay. So when we want to thank someone, we say gracias. Oh, gracias. I've heard that one before. It's a kind word. Let's try that again. Gracias. Gracias. That's awesome. This time, how about you put my name at the end of it? So I'm going to thank you and I'm going to say gracias, Shane. Gracias, Pedro. That's fantastic. So, it's time to say goodbye. So this is how we say goodbye in Spanish to our friends. We say, adios, amigo. Adios, amigo. Beautiful. Let's try that again. Adios, amigo. Adios, amigo, Pedro. We'll see you later, Shane. See you, Pedro. Oh, well, I really love how Shane and Pedro are getting along so well. Pedro is really helping Shane to learn Spanish and Shane is really enjoying spending time with Pedro learning. Uh, it is always great to see people getting along with each other, cooperating with one another. We have been singing a song for many years at Arnie's Shack called Cooperate. We thought it would be really awesome to learn this song in Spanish. 
Uh, so here is the Spanish version of Cooperate. section of Lima at the moment. Around 17, 1800s it would have been built. Uh, you can see the building behind me has verandas on the front. Uh, this was very common back then and uh, very colonial. Yep, have a look around. Lots of old buildings here. Uh, lots of interesting architecture. Uh, there's a church. I always like seeing the town squares. Uh, there's lots of them in Peru. And love the artwork. Lots of artwork around Lima. Yeah, look at it, it's really good. Right past these little birds. They were very busy scratching and feeding amongst the leaves and the dirt. Right next to a busy pathway. You've always got to be looking out to see if you can spot some of God's creations. Otherwise you can easily miss them. Sensational! Uh, in Peru, uh, they have a breed of dog known as a hairless dog. Oh, I came across one in the old section of Lima. Uh, he stood and looked at me for a while. He had a little bit of hair on his head. Uh, the Peruvian hairless dog is a breed that has been around for centuries. And you can often find them wandering around in the town squares. The dog suddenly decided he was going. So we followed him to see where he lived. Up the stairs he went. He seemed to be following the girl in the white shirt. Across a bridge. Across a laneway. He didn't worry about the cars. 
just crossed in front of them. Hola, boys and girls. Mi nombre es PJ. Welcome back to Getting Active with PJ. Are you ready to do some exercise? Stand up and join in. Today we're doing arm punches and kicks. The first exercise is arm punches. Let me show you how it goes. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four. Oh, that was a good workout. Woo! And now for the kicks. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four. 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 That was another good workout session. I'll see you next time. Keep exercising. Adios, amigos. Goodbye, everyone! How you going? How do you like the houses up on the uh, side of the hill up here? They are built on pretty steep slopes with lots of loose rocks above them and around them. One of the problems in this area is that it's an earthquake region. Now, earthquakes can cause landslides and on hills like this could cause damage to the houses and the people who live in them. Now oh, let's pray they all stay safe. And now, here is the Cooperate song in English, so you can learn it in both languages. We wanted to see the snow, so we decided to go for a drive. It was quite a few hours out of Lima. Now, the drive up was very interesting. I found driving into a tunnel reminded me of sometimes in life when things go wrong, it feels a bit like you are in a dark tunnel. Instead of focusing on the problems, the darkness around you, if you look forward to the light at the end of the tunnel, and keep heading that direction, you can break through into something new, a new opportunity. 
but we kept climbing higher and higher following the road. Past lots of trucks, cars and buses. Uh, in some places it was really difficult for the very big trucks to pass each other. But they got through somehow. Uh, there were certainly plenty of vehicles on the road. Some going up the hill and some going down. Uh, there wasn't a lot of room. But somehow we all squeezed past each other safely. Ah, uh, there were lots of tunnels. Ah, uh, you need to use your lights in the tunnel because it's pretty dark. It takes a lot of work to build a tunnel, but, but it's a lot easier to drive through the tunnel than over the mountain. And here we go, out the other end of the tunnel again. Uh, finally we started to see some of the white snow in the distance on the mountains. And as we got closer, it started to rain. And we could see more and more snow. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Uh, just a few hours drive from Lima, uh, you can get to the snow. I'm up in the mountains and uh, I've, met, I've met a friend up here called Olivia. Yep, she's a really nice lady and she lives up here. It's pretty cold and it's sleeting. As you can see, she's all rugged up and so am I. Yes, it's a pretty cold climate here. You need to make sure you stay warm. We've just come up to a place called Ticlia. It's pretty high. It's 4,800 metres. You can see the snow in the background and to get up here was really windy and lots and lots of traffic. But it's really nice up here. Have a look around. There is a light covering of snow sprinkled on the mountains behind me. Looks like powder snow. Here's some snow right here. Right on the ground, it's pretty cold. Because we're 4,800 metres up, I'm getting a bit dizzy as well. Check it out. I love to see the pure white colour of the fresh snow. There is a Bible verse in Isaiah 118, which talks about snow. It says, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Jesus wants us to be as pure and clean as the white snow, just like what I can see on the ground right now. Anyway, it's sleeting at the moment and you can see I'm getting wet. I better go and get in the car. One way to warm up when you're feeling cold is to jump around. Here's a warm up song to join in with.
I've just been driving down the side of the mountain and uh, came across these animals on the side of the road. They're llamas. And they're just wandering up and down the side of the mountain and on the side of the road. Llamas are native to South America. They are also related to the camel. They are bigger than the alpacas. The Incas used llamas as pack animals as they trekked through the Andes. Hey, watch out for the cars and trucks, llamas! Llamas have three stomachs and eat grass, weeds and other plants. Llamas like companionship. They need to have another llama as a buddy so they don't die of loneliness. We are designed by God to have companionship too. Our family and our friends. Each of us also has a need for companionship with Jesus. Have you made Jesus your friend too? On our way down from the mountains we found this waterfall. The water is pretty powerful, isn't it? And it runs like this most of the year. Uh, Peru gets most of their power from hydropower. No wonder why. I uh, see the power in that water coming down the mountain. There's lots of water up here. It's great that they harness the power of the water to create electricity. A very clean way of making power. Look at that water thundering out. Pretty cool, hey? Have a look. Hola, Pedro. Hola, Shane. See, I got it. You are doing amazing. How are you going? I'm doing really well. That's awesome. In Spanish, when we ask someone how they're going, we say, Como estas? Oh, como estas, Pedro? Fantastic. Let's say that again. Como estas? Como estas? That's awesome. And when we want to answer the question by saying, I'm fine, thank you, we say, Bien gracias. Oh, bien gracias. Yeah. Let's try that again. Bien gracias. Bien gracias. So I'm going to ask you how you're going, and I want you to tell me that you're fine, thank you. Here we go. Como estas, Shane? Bien gracias, Pedro. Fantastic. You're doing so well at this. Woo. That's great, Shane. Hey, another really important word in Spanish is the word yes. We say... Si! Si! Yes! Yes! Si! Si! Si means yes! Oh, yes! So when you want to answer someone and say yes, you say si! Si! That's fantastic! Alright, how about we go back to what we learned the other day and go through our numbers in Spanish? Oh, cool! I'll say them in English, you say them in Spanish. Okay! Zero! Zero! One! Uno! Two! Dos! Three! Tres! Four, cuatro, five, cinco, six, seis, seven, siete, eight, ocho, nine, nueve, and ten. Diez. That's great, Shane. How about we say goodbye like I taught you last time? Adios. Adios. Another way to say goodbye is to say to someone, see you later. This is how we say it. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. That's great. Let's say that again. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Great job, Shane. Si. And now you can learn the Hey Let's Jump song in Spanish. It's called Vamos Salta. Uh, try and uh, do the actions and sing along.
trip up the mountain and through the tunnels from the coast to the snow. Uh, it is really interesting to learn another language. I also really like it when people get along with each other and cooperate together. And of course, uh, when you choose to follow Jesus, uh, he is the very best friend and companion uh, you can ever have. I'll see you in the next episode for the next part of the adventure in Peru. Back at the shop, back at the shop. We 